All right, let's see. I'm going to address these uh, comments, uh, some very good stuff here. And then uh, a little later on, I want to talk about uh, this right here. So we'll see how much time we got. And uh, so the first uh, comment I want to look at is here. Let's see. Uh, May Jesus come back soon. And Daniel 12, every single person in the book of life will be saved. Every single one, man. Peace, aha. It's getting heavy, man. I'm glad there's so many people doing this now. It feels like even what with uh, all the false crap that we people are really working this stuff out. Some of these really tough subjects without blatant clear answers. But looking at just 10 years, I think it's amazing what happened to the general body's understanding of the rapture. Even with the garbage, everybody's understanding was raised and even if they're still on the same camp they know more it's pretty awesome man okay so I think he's uh, talking about the, the awareness being brought about by you know you know like in Daniel when he says uh, in the last days uh, knowledge shall be increased so let me see if I see if that's in the Bible or if I'm making that up Okay, uh, let's see. Uh, yeah, right there. But thou, O Daniel, shut up the words and seal the book. Even to the time of the end, many shall run to and fro, and knowledge shall be increased. So knowledge is increased. That's both good and bad. But without question, with in the age of the internet, knowledge has been increased. I, I could be way, way off. But I think this gentleman is talking about uh, the awareness that's brought on by the increased knowledge. So anyway, let's move on. I believe the mark option of placing in the forehead is for those who don't have a right arm or hand. Well, uh, yeah, I guess if you don't have a right arm, you don't have a right hand. Uh, I disagree with that. But I understand that's what some people think. Uh, I won't get into that. Uh, uh, Jay Henning, have you come across EYA Bible changes she's been removed and can't find her now no I'm not sure who that is if you could uh, you know send me a follow-up and you know I don't know I don't know I don't know who that is but obviously the the Bible hasn't changed but people have taken the Bible and changed what it says right so, like I pointed out, I think it was yesterday, uh, we are not as many which corrupt the Word of God. Uh, so, and, and this is not a New Testament thing. This is happening in the Old Testament as well. And uh, the changes that, that are made in these modern perversions are not just solely to get a copyright in order to make money. They also change the doctrine in the gospel of Jesus Christ. They, they change it from, uh, in the sense that uh, they say that you're being saved as opposed to you are saved. And uh, that's a different gospel that these new perversions, modern perversions are teaching. But no, I always find that interesting uh, because uh, there's a lot of examples to give, uh, a lot of evidence to give for people to see that the King James Bible is perfect and all these other hundreds and hundreds of modern perversions in the English language are all wrong. Every single one of them. It's a good study. It's interesting. So anyway, Sam, I am. Okay. Uh, I'm really not sure. It looks like a palm you're sending me or something. Help me to understand. You wore a mask? No, I didn't wear a mask. I don't wear a mask. They get mad at me at the FEMA camp when I don't wear a mask. They give me dirty looks. And I don't want to talk about it. If, you know, it's the FEMA camp. What do you expect, right? And... This gentleman says, Heaven and earth shall pass away, but my word shall not pass away. A son of God is a son of God. I'll stick with the word over your interpretation. And that's stick with the Bible, all right? Uh, so, 
that's in reference to my interpretation that in uh, before the flood, the sons of God were all the sons of Adam, who was the son of God. So uh, I appreciate stick with the Bible above any man. So I can't disagree with what you're saying there. But if you wanted to further, <clears throat> you know, define what you believe as a son of God in the Old Testament, I would I would enjoy that. And of course, if you say you, you've now put yourself in a position to where if you say the son of God means angels in the Old Testament, then you're not taking what the Bible says, because nowhere in the Bible does it say angels are sons of God. In fact, it exclusively says that angels are not sons of God. So now you put yourself in a position to where <clears throat> you got to say, okay, if you have to define what the Son of God is or what a, what sons of God is in the Old Testament, okay, uh, you kind of put yourself in a box to where uh, you can't depend on what men say. You know, these men that say angels are sons of God, you can't rely on them. You got to rely on what the Bible says, right? And so what's the Bible say? If you would give me uh, your interpretation, I would enjoy that. Smiley face. Okay. God's grasshopper. Hey, brother, thanks for the response. Just to add, I don't believe the vaccine will change people. Well, some people say it'll turn you into a crocodile. I believe it's a precursor to its becoming accepted. Um. Uh, I, I'm, I'm guessing you're, to uh, the mark of the beast being accepted. Okay, the lie of evolution gives room for people to guide evolution. I believe this is done through the destruction of what it means to be man and woman through feminism, transgender. The next step in evolution, the changing of the temple as the temple and the body, and when we see it being rebuilt, we know... The time is near now. That's see. That's the point I keep trying to make over and over. Jesus already rebuilt the temple. There's no, there's no, there's nothing in the Bible that says there's going to be a rebuilt temple. I, I mean, there is, but it's always it's referring to Jesus who rebuilt the temple. People will be merged with technology. They're going to be half. Well, that's already been going on, you know, for since all throughout my lifetime. People have pacemakers added into their heart, but that's. That's not what you're referring to, I'm assuming. People will be some sort of guided evolution. This temple of God. This is the temple of God being rebuilt. No, it's not. GG. Jesus rebuilt the temple. And when he and when he was explaining it. Uh what what verses? And when he was explaining that they still didn't understand. Uh, what verses? Uh, I can't remember nothing. So I think it was right there. Let's do this. Um, so make this as simple as possible, right? But he spake of the temple of his body. All right. So when he was talking about rebuilding the temple, they didn't understand him either. And it appears GG doesn't understand either. So GG, please let me help you out. This is talking about Jesus rebuilding the temple, which he just when he died it was destroyed, and then when he resurrected it was rebuilt. Okay, I'll think on it. This is also made clear by the fact that those that worship the image is caused to speak are the ones who torment ascends forever. They are literally making a decision to worship something that isn't Christ. It's clear that it's a clear-cut thing. People will willingly choose to actively worship. <clears throat> Find your version of worship in the Bible you want. Okay, so my version is uh, the English version of the word worship. And I'll get into that here because of the time's up. I'll get into that next video, and then hopefully I'll be able to talk about some of that. So appreciate it, Gigi.